Hello YouTube. Um, recently I did a video about um uh, about accents, and um, in the video I was talking about um, how I developed my uh, Scottish accent, and it wasn't that uh, it wasn't um I I didn't I didn't just do it by just watching Shrek and just watching um, Braveheart. Um. When I was over in Scotland, I uh, saw this here, um, saw this book in W. H. Smith. Um, I was over in Dundee and uh, um, to meet this girl, and uh, and uh, we've been together for um, quite a while. But we were in this here uh, bookshop, and, and uh, it was over Overgate, Overgate. Overgate Shopping Centre in Dundee um, went to W. H. Smith and I saw this book um, uh, written by Stuart, uh, Stuart McHardy and um, the book is called um, the book is called um, Speaking of Dundee I don't know if you can see it because of the light from the background but um, yeah, maybe I'll do that yeah it's um, Stuart McHardy Speaking of Dundee and um, it's uh, it's just all these different uh, folk tales um, about Dundee um, put together in one book, and, and the master of McCarthy he put it all together, and <coughs> the, the it it really helps to to develop the Scottish accent because it's uh, it's written in the way. Um, <coughs> It's written in the way um, like some um, Scottish people uh, speak, you know. Um, like, I just open this page and you can see the way it's um, uh, written. Um, you know, when they when they say no, they say they say no. Um, uh, and long uh, lang is long. And uh and ne is no ne 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 longer is uh no longer, yeah. <laughs> um but it re it really helps the the Scottish uh to develop the Scottish accent. <coughs> I'll just read a bit of this uh, now. I'm not using the microphone, uh, I'm just using the, um, the microphone on the laptop. I just realized that the microphone on the laptop had a better quality. So um, I'm just going to um, read a bit of this. Just it was, it's just a short folk tale. Um, uh, uh, the folk tale it, it itself is called Petal Pin. Now Kenneth McKilpin has long been thought to be the first king to have united the different tribes of the Picts and Scots into a single nation in the ninth century. Nowadays it's no longer a cornerstone of our understanding of the past that the Scots came over from Ireland. And in fact there is no real evidence to suggest that they did. It seems more likely that they were like the Picts themselves and of the one of the uh, one of the indigenous tribes or confederations uh, of tribes that were here in Scotland when the Romans came on the wee visit. The old notion that Kenneth conquered the Picts doesn't fit with what we know nowadays, and there have been suggestions that Kenneth was very well known among the Picts, maybe due to having a Pictish mother. This would make some sense of an old story that has long been told in and around Dundee. This tale refers to events that were said that have happened around 730 AD when Alpin, what, what, what was a leader among the Scots, was fighting over here in the east. To understand the period, we might be better thinking of the battles that went on as more like inter-clan disputes than anything like royal dynastic battles. The story goes that Alpin was up again brewed king or chief of the Picts. 
Alban had taken up a position on a wee hill to the west of Dundee in an old fortified enclosure there. Among the thick woods to the north there was a big clearing and here Brood had lined up his Pictish warriors. The Picts advanced up the hill and the Scots charged down to meet them. The battles swayed back and forth but it wasn't long before the superior numbers of the Picts began to tell. Alpin and his lads were driven back up the hill and it became clear that the Scots were losing their feet. Their line broke and the Picts chased them down the other side of the hill, taking Alpin prisoner as they went. He was taken hands tied afore Brood, who had set up his new position somewhere around about where the village of Lyft now stands. Alpin had his head chopped off there and then, and it was stuck on the great pole and traded for all the Picts to see. After this though, it is said he was put into a burial mound on the place, uh, and the place was named Pittleton after him. For many centuries after this, it is said there was a great Pictish stain cried the King's Cross to be seen just to the northeast of where the remains of the brock or the brooch, brock, the brock of Hurley Hawken are standing yet in the Dane of Grey. And um, that was the then the the that was the that was that's it that's the folk tale it's short and sweet and um <coughs> um it helps to develop some sort of um um Scottish um some sort of Scottish accent um, before you read anything like this um but well once you do develop some sort of Scottish accent reading books like this here would help to uh, really really put forth your own Scottishness. You, you, the Scottishness will then come on your voice. The Scottish accent will sound uh, more uh, more authentic if you know what I'm talking about. So that's all I wanted to say. It's just a wee short YouTube video. So bye bye for now YouTube. Um, I'll see you whenever I post a new video up. Good luck.